we're back with our final reveal. Now we're gonna share, we're gonna keep stuff secret for our filming day, but the guys have put on their entrance, which come on in fellas, come, come on in a little bit so our, so our people can see you. Now you have been working on the entrance to the bear den for a while. Yes. Eric, is this your first time doing a bear den entrance? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it is. What'd you think about your project? It was pretty fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Experimental. What do you think, Stan? Yes, it was very fun. So we're gonna show our viewers what we've done. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for this, everybody? We're gonna show you the entrance to the bear den. Check it out. Look at this. This is so cool. I love it. Eric, hold this right here because I want our viewers to see. So, you gotta kinda get in like this. Check that out. All right, this is so good. So good. Can you believe this is the front of the doll shop? Out there? I cannot. All right, so we're gonna look at this closely and Okay, so Stanley, get behind the get behind so our viewers can see. Can you please explain? Oh, and Jan, John Port's on here. He said, you guys did so much work. This is overwhelming. So much talent. You were so talented. Stanley, this was all your idea. So I, I want you to... Uh, it was your idea. I just had to figure out how to do it. Okay, Eric, you do the camera work, and you two stand next to each other. And Stanley, please explain to the people. You have to stay behind the camera. Please explain to the people what you did. Okay, um, so first of all, we had to have a, a, a concept, and Rachel had a concept of like a cave entrance. So, um, I figured, you know, if we, I always have packing paper, and I love how packing paper looks when it's scrunched up. Keep the, keep the camera close, no, it's cold. It, it looks like Just rock. Just keep it close to Stanley. Can... It looks like rock when it's crunched up. And so, then we made uh, bases, and we attached um, chicken wire, and Six, strung that together and we did two parts so that we could move it, take it apart and put it back together. And then I had some of that plastic um, we some tubing, tubing for, and... for plumbing type pipe, that black stuff that bends. So we had an inner thing besides drain, the drain, drain pipes. We yeah, used... drain pipe. And then, um, so then we did the, uh, we attached the uh, paper and then we, um, Got some of that spray foam that is for insulating uh, cracks camera, and things. Stay, and stay behind the camera. Cracks stay and here. things. So we did the uh, the text the final texturing, and there's a few spider webby things on there. That's also like a spray uh, contact glue. Uh, that Eric put on it right at the very end, and we painted this with different shades of uh, browns and blacks and grays and beiges. And then uh, it was very windy the other day. My next door neighbor's tree was coming down on the ground parts of it. So I ran over there and grabbed some because I was about ready to finalize this. And then uh, out of some foam, we made uh, the bear den sign and we, we found some sticks and we glued them on there. And then we brought this in the store in two pieces and reconnected it. And that's basically how we did it. Now we have a wonderful entry way for the... We worked on it on when we had a little bit of free time. We're just knocking over dolls, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a reproduction. pretty much towards the end of the day, if we had an hour left or whatnot, we would keep on working on this. Yeah. And I, I guess we finally made it come to life, yeah. to be honest. With what Aaron did with the uh, interior of the, looks like an old mine or something, or a cabin. Yeah. And the furnishings. Uh, and then with our entryway, I think it's pretty successful. It's pretty uh, cool. Pee Wee's Playhouse producers would be, I don't know if they'd be sweating bullets or not. We just need John but, Port now. You know, we're trying to outdo Pee Wee's Playhouse a little bit. It's Rachel's <laughs> Playhouse now. <laughs> Are they loving it? Yeah. Are they commenting? 
We got a couple comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to be on the other side. But yeah, I've never really done little projects like this, but I guess Stan, he has experience, so it was pretty cool to work with him on this. Got our creative side fulfilled. Yep, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, pretty fun. Rachel got us doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, keeps it interesting. Yeah. We stay on our toes. That's for sure. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Never a dull moment at the doll shop. Never a dull moment. So this is fun. The guys did such a good job. I am so uh, pleased with the entrance. It's gonna be it's gonna be very difficult for me, honestly, to take this down, right? Don't you, don't we just want to keep our little bear den forever? Just wait until we get all the bears inside. Yes. So we're we're still working on it. We're still putting some paper around it and just doing some different things, but. Can, can you believe it? This doesn't even look like, if, if you look behind the bear den, you can tell it's a doll shop. We've got our dolls hanging out and they're sitting here. They're used to us doing all kinds of crazy things. So, so they're cool. So in our last video, we showed you, we did a little home tour with Aaron Johnson, who all of this is on loan from his store. All of it is for sale that he took from his wonderful antique store for us. So John said, what? Take it down. Well, I kind of want to live here. Like I feel, I feel like because we've been, don't you guys feel like we have our own log cabin now? Yeah. I almost just want to live here. Like I feel like I now own a cabin. We're not going to do any repairs or <laughs> shipping anymore. We're just going to take it back here. Yeah. We're not going to do anything else. We're just going to chill and hang out. So I have always wanted to have a cabin and now I have one. All right, we're gonna go out. We all, I feel like we all have one. We're gonna go back in the woods and, and make some s'mores and we'll Ooh, s'mores. Ooh, mm s'mores. -hmm. Yes. Sasquatch doesn't find out s'mores. About yeah, Sasquatch would want to live here for sure. John Port says it's a vacation cabin. This is what I could do. Maybe I could make it like an Airbnb and doll people could come and we could set up a little blow up mattress right in the middle of our cabin and then you guys can live here snaps for that if if you would if you would uh, spend a couple nights here in the doll shop in our new wooden cabin drop me a comment let me know say say heck yes i would so we're gonna bring in the bears over the weekend john port is also bringing he has a suitcase full of bears the bear necessities yes that's what we'd call the our airbnb the bear necessities so John Port's going to bring some bears for sale. We're going to be. So what we are doing is we are filming content for the January 2021 virtual doll convention. We will be, of course, going live and sharing all kinds of fun stuff with you on Monday. But this is for the convention, everybody. So you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Doesn't it just always look great with just, just even one bear? I'm obsessed. Yeah, yeah. I'm obsessed. So good job, fellers. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yep, you did you did good. All right, what's next? What's next? Tremor six. Says we made a giant worm. <laughs> well, it, it doesn't look like a giant worm to me. It I looks like a picture a, and it looks cool when it's cropped. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look that's amazing? Yes. Doll camping. Gotta We're gonna have doll camping now at the doll shop. Going. Big time. Got yep. Got we got our imagination going. And I like the stick sticking out of the hole in the floor. <laughs> That's good. For the hole now. That's good. Well, I'm going to get in here and just clean up any more dirt that I can and just kind of get it going. But I, I really feel like we have, we, I have my own cabin now. And it didn't cost me nearly as much as the ones way out there in the woods. And since I spend so much time here, I feel like I practically live here anyway. It's just like right in my backyard. So... We hope you love it. We built this for you. We built this for John Port and for you to enjoy and to just have a lot of fun in the coming weeks. So a kudos to the team. I am so proud of everybody. I love it. Well, we're moving to Hollywood next week. Yeah, we're, we're moving to Hollywood. Team, no, we're actually, oh, the, the team's moving to Hollywood. Dang it. Okay, so if you want to learn more about the antiques, Aaron gave us a great survey of the antiques, which you can see in, in the last video. And you can learn all about the different antiques that are in our bear house. And yeah, it's going to
going to be hard to sleep over the next couple nights. We got to get everything ready. So I hope you've enjoyed the transformation and all of the fun stuff that's happening. Yeah, Country Bear Jamboree. Linda's leaving. You have to go through the bear den. <laughs> yes. And I love this tree from Balsam Hill that Billy Harris sent. It's amazing. So, yeah, we're going to get some sleep. John, I hope you're having fun out here. And we'll see you in a couple days. All right. Bye, everybody.